Folks, good afternoon and welcome on board the Tangalooma Jet for our run back to Brisbane this afternoon. My name is Jamin, I'll be your skipper for the run home. Our chief engineer is Reggie. First mate today is Steve. Our two deck crew, we have Cody heading upstairs and Sam will be in the lower saloon. Bit of shipping traffic this afternoon, so we're going to go south of the channel to keep away from the Pacific area cruise ships in front of us outbound. And a car carrier here on our right, so we're just going to stay out of the shipping channel and keep clear of these larger vessels. Now before we get too far from the jetty, we do need to run through the safety requirements for the vessel. Firstly folks, this is a non-smoking vessel for the safety of all passengers and dust crew. Please do not smoke while on the boat. This does include in the toilets and all of the out of deck areas. All the children on the boat need to be supervised by an adult at all times. And we do ask that nobody stands on the seats or stands or sits on the railings. And this vessel does comply with all marine survey requirements. We carry life rafts, life rings and life jackets. The crew will demonstrate how a life jacket is to be worn for you in case there's an emergency and I'll do this for you on each deck. Firstly, place your hand through the opening at the top of the jacket. Place your arm through the straps at the side. Pull the straps out nice and tight to enable that jacket to fit snugly under your chin. Cross the tape to the back and then tie off firmly on your body at the front. Thank you, crew. Now, if you have an emergency on the way home, please remain as calm as possible, stay seated and wait for further instructions. Your life jacket is required to make the seat to the upper and lower slides. For the guests on the bow, Sam's going to show you how to put a life jacket on now. You can carry extra life jackets for you under the bed seat as you come in through the front doors on either side. For the guests on the very top deck near the sun deck, extra life jackets for you stored in a storage locker under the stairs as you come down to the top deck area. Now we also keep on this boat 45 children's life jackets, they range in size from 10 up to 40 kilograms. 15 in the cupboard in the upper saloon front right hand side, from 8 to 30 in the cupboard lower saloon rear right hand corner. Now as you can see we're pretty full this afternoon, 302 passengers on board. So if you carry bags onto the boat with you, please keep them on your lap or at your feet. We do kindly ask you don't place bags on the seats in the old ways of locking them to some the vessel. bags are too large for your own lap or your feet. We have a storage area on lower saloon left inside, halfway along in the television. That area is full, see the crew will find somewhere to take you with your bags. Ladies and gents, all to the lower saloon either side of the bar. Bar will be open for the trip back to Brisbane. Hot and cold drinks, chips, chocolates, peanuts and muffins are available at the bar. Our journey time's about an hour and 25 minutes this afternoon. We are pushing against the tide. We also have a bit of shipping traffic around, as you can see. There's quite a few whales in the bay as well, folks, so keep your eyes peeled for whales. We had uh, three mums and calves this morning on the way across the bay from Brisbane, and the boys have just spotted some whales out around the one o'clock position towards that beacon out there in front of that large ship coming in. So we had 70 whales on the whale watch. There we go, splashing around out there. So do keep your eyes peeled in about the one o'clock position on the other side of the shallow bank. Most likely a calf playing over here with its mum. If you need a taxi this afternoon, give your details to the crew, we can call ahead for you and have a taxi waiting for the cruise <laughs> Conditions won't be too bad with the following sea wind blowing from the north. So I do hold on to a handrail as we're passing the wash of these other vessels. So if you're looking for where that whale was, between this car carrier on the right, there's a ferry in the distance, that's the Minecap vehicle barge. Look in the direction of the Minecap there on the other side of the bank. That's where those whales on the other side of after that, if I see anything else on the way home, I'll let you know if it's
Diary. You got to check. Look, you're going to miss the photo. I know. So what are we passing? Supergaria. Oh, I don't know that one. <laughs> it turns off that one to look through that one when you're caught up. And I don't know how to not do that. It's really annoying. Oh, it's going out of your shot. Straight off the uh, right hand side, boat goes Wales, just on the other side of the bank now. About 3 o'clock from the uh, boat, where the glare is. Just keep looking across the surface, right where the sun hits the water now. Wales are swimming back in the next direction, or in all the direction. So as we get past where the sun hits the water, keep looking in that direction, and that's where you'll find those whales. Small the aria. It's because that one that came through. It's about how big it was. Not that big. 